Brad Nessler here with my partners in crime, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. No complaints about the weather tonight as we see nothing but stars in this contest between the Illinois Fighting Illini and the USC Trojans. And we're set to bring you another great matchup in the world of NCAA football. And here come the Trojans. The Trojans are a confident bunch of kids, and rightfully so. Kirk, this team is just too powerful. USC is lucky to have such a force at defensive end. Offense is game plan around him, and I wouldn't expect to see many runs to his side. The rest of the defense is just as good, and they'll dominate in this game. Hey, everybody's picking them, so I will too. I'm taking USC in this one. Well, Coach, we'll find out if you're right or not. Let's take it down to the field where today's captains are running for the coin toss. USC is kicking off first, and we're ready to get this game underway. Decent kick. Number 28 fields it at the nine. Now let's see what kind of success this offense can have as they come out onto the field for the first time today. This quarterback is the leader of this team, but he's going to need some help from his offensive line today as they go up against a very good pass rush. You got that right, Brad. He's the focal point of this offense, and the defensive line knows it. They're going to be coming after him hard today. When you're as good as this kid is at playing quarterback, there's definitely a bullseye painted on your chest. We'll see how he handles the pressure. From their own 47-yard line, it's first down. They line up in the shotgun. Hands it off. And there's a fumble. Now the quarterback has the ball. And he's level at the 45-yard line. The offense will keep possession after the fumble by the running back. It's a good thing they can't afford a turnover right now. They line up at the 45. Second down, about 12 yards to go. They come out with three wide receivers looking. There's a missed tackle. And he's going to be sacked. That's the end of the first quarter, folks. No score after one. A minute left in the half. Number seven has trips to the right. Drop back to pass. Rolls to the right. Here they come. And they got it. The blitz worked in their favor, fellas. Yeah, you're right. They were able to get good pressure on the quarterback and free up the defense alignment for the sack. They're ready to pump this one away. Number seven, back deep to return. He gets it off. Spin move. Number seven, fields it at the 34. At the 40. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, Trojans. He made it look easy there, guys. Yeah, we saw the same things all week in practice, Brad. He makes it look so easy out there. No question, Coach. Whenever he touches the football, he just knows something special is going to happen. And he hits 
gets the PAT. Now to just a few seconds left here before the half. And our score, USC, 7, Illinois, nothing. USC, ready to pick this one off. And it's off. Number 13, fields it at the three. The offense comes back on the field, hoping to build off their last drive. It's all about execution, I think. We saw them move the football, but they were unable to move it when it mattered most. And Lee, I think you have to give credit to this defense. They tightened up when they had to, and they're going to look to do the same here. They hand it off. And he's hammered down. Well, wow, you know this guy has to protect himself. You're not kidding. He got walloped on that play. And that'll do it for the first half of... The teams are lined up, and we're just about ready to start this second half. And this one's a short kick. Number 15 fields it at the 24. He spins. Now we'll get to see how this quarterback can do today as he comes out onto the field for the first time. First down. One man backfield. They give to the tailback. He's off to the races. To the 20, to the 10. He's all the way. Touchdown. He was able to make it all the way in for the score. Well, here, once he got the handoff, his quick feet and excellent vision took over. There's a flag down, and here's the call. It's more than one handoff. Only a They'll line up for the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. Less than a minute remains in the third quarter with the score. USC, 14, Illinois, nothing. USC to kick, number 28, and number 13, deep to return. Short kick, he didn't get a hold of that one. Number 28, fields it at the 11. Looks like we've got an injured player down there. Can't tell who it is yet. They'll start at the 28. Number seven comes to the line with three wide. He looks to throw on first down. Under pressure. Down at the 20-yard line. They line up at the 20. It's second down. The fighting line up. Set up in the gun. Let's it go. Finds his receiver. And they make the stop at the 36-yard line. There's an injured player, and we'll try to find out who it is. You never like to see this. You can only hope that it's a stinger. Third, Third down and two to go. That's three down and one to go. Our score is USC. 14, 
Illinois, nothing. We're down to our final minute of this ball game. Number seven has four receivers lined up here. Rose, and they couldn't hook up on that one. You gotta keep it under control. That's some nice arm strength, but it doesn't matter if it's not on target. You're absolutely right, Coach. You have to be accurate on those type of passes. Congratulations to our players of the game. Both of these young men should hold their heads up high today. The Illini come out in the shotgun. Here's the option. Fakes it. And they sack him on fourth down. And that was a big stop defensively. Yeah, they only needed a few yards here to keep the drive alive. Great job by the defense to shut them down. They line up at the 34. First down. The defense is looking for the pass as they bring out their dime package. And they got him for a loss. Illinois calls a timeout. From the 35-yard line, we've got a second and 11. The Trojans line up with a single set backfield. And they'll run him again. Spinning. Tackle made at the 25-yard line. The fighting Illini take a timeout, and they'll have one timeout left. Third down. The Trojan come out of the ace formation. He's hit and got away. And he's taken down at the 23. Illinois will use their final timeout. We've got a first and 10. Ace backfield. Spins up field. Tackle at the five yard line. I think this offensive line is getting better and better as the game goes along. And coach, I'll tell you what, I think they're killing the will of this defense. And I don't think they're done just yet. USC is about to extend the lead to three scores. USC goes with the ace set here. They sent the blitz and drilled the running back before he could find any daylight. USC will take their first time out of the half. <laughs> Only seven yards for a touchdown. He gets it up, and it's right down the middle. USC lines up for the kickoff. Number 13 and number three back deep to return. He kicks it off. Number three fields it in the end zone. There's the final gun, and this game is history. What are your final thoughts on the game, Coach? Outstanding performance defensively. USC is a much better football team than they proved it in this game. They were coming out expecting to dominate on defense, and that's exactly what they did. Anything less than a shutout would have been below par. 
Until next time, with Kirk Herbstreet and the coach, Lee Corso, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.